Well, good morning, everybody. We're reading through uh, Deuteronomy 28, 29. We're just plugging along here. Before you know it, we'll be done with Deuteronomy. Um, time is a wonderful concept, isn't it? Yeah, uh, and uh, to be good stewards, so, yeah, we, we have to be able to, to manage our, our time well. Now, some of you know how <laughs> I have I have problems with uh, uh, people who um, time manage their time so well that they 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 have to read a book at, in the intersection at the stoplight. <laughs> it's just it, it is true that in our life we need to be able to manage everything that has been given to us well, and and time is is part of it. Uh, but we also we, we have to be careful not to. Um, not to think that the, our, our father is relegated to the keeping of that time. He is the creator of time. He created time so that the created things could be measured. Uh, that we know what, what a day is. We, we know what a year is. We know how long there's a period of time that uh, each creature has life and, and so on. We have seasons. He's the creator of seasons and, and all these things. But... Our Father is not governed by time. Uh, we, we see that with Adam in the garden when, when the Lord told him not to eat from the tree because if he ate from the tree, he would die. And he ate from the tree and, and, and he didn't die. <laughs> but there's... Uh, uh, I'm not going to get into it. There's the whole thing of the uh, a tree of, of life and death, which he, he didn't eat from and, and God separated him from it and he numbered his days. And um, but the, the the death that he was talking about is is the second death, which is reserved for the end of time. Believe it or not, <laughs> you know, when the, when the days of days are, are, are finished, and we and uh, and humanity stands before for God and has to give an accountability, um, there is a second death, um, and, and that's what he was referring to, which is a long way away from from the beginning, and then today we have an example of it, and and. And um, he spoke through Moses and, and warned the people that if if they um, if they acted like the nations that they were displacing, if they did not uh, follow the the commandments, um, that they they would be removed and removed quickly from the land. But we know the, the history that uh, he he kept calling them back to repentance, calling back to repentance, calling back to repentance, because this is this is his heart. He's 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 merciful, he's compassionate, he's he's patient, um, and and he's forgiving, and he would call them back to repentance. And but it it got to the point where uh, they they really couldn't do any more evil than they had done, and uh, and and he said that's it. And it was many 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 generations before they were removed from the land. Uh, and to the Lord, that's quickly. Uh, Jesus promised us that he would return uh, soon. Uh, soon, well, this is 2,000 years later. But a day is, is like a 1,000 years and a 1,000 years like a day to, to our, our Lord. That time does not have that same measurement or, or concept. Um, and, and, and that's, that's good to, to, to keep in mind because um, he, he's... He acts quickly. He acts quickly. And those of us, of, of us who have been around long enough know that quite often there's, um, there's preparation to answer prayer. Um, yeah, some, some prayers that don't, don't require that much preparation um, are basically answered overnight. And, and others can take a couple of decades. Um, it's because of the preparation that's involved with it. But when, when everything is prepared, um, it happens quickly. So that, that's to keep it in mind. If you're in that, that place right now where um, you feel that, that uh, our Father is, is rather slow in responding to you, uh, be patient. Because I'll, I'll tell you this, that his word is his word is his word. And be it soon or, or be it longer, uh, it will be fulfilled. It will be fulfilled. He is faithful to his word uh, and it will be done. So trust him. Be patient. And uh, it's coming. You'll be blessed.